Hey, Nahareen, what's going on? That's true, Dot. if we have someone to remind me. There's a lot going on. Airstrike. What? Perfectly countering an enemy attacks will stun them. A stunned enemy has stars circling above their head, and after hitting the enemy again, you can launch it up in the air by pressing LB. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. Oh, hey, wheeled one. Hack and slash. Oh, oh, hey. First. Yes, unstoppable pig. Oh boy. Is my friend dying over there? Probably. As I tunnel vision these other guys. Hey! Get away from him! He's my green grocer! Woohoo! All the perfect dodge! Small things for your big ideas. Can't catch me on the gingerbread man. Does he have a shotgun? That's the last of them. Yes. Let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives. Follow the old one, but I want to loot. Loot? There's loot. There's definitely loot. I don't even know what I'm picking up. I think that's okay. Okay. Yeah, Zero Flax and anybody else, ignore the reviews. Try it. Or watch other people try it and make your own opinions up. All right, follow the old one, but there's also this. Can I do this? Follow the old one it is. Close the door, bring your cricket with you. A new friend, an old friend. Oh, for a second there. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then, the night everything changed. There have been rumors of a one-eyed Ronin seen outside the Great War, and he's happy to see it's true. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. It does sound a little bit like Bib Fortuna speaking Hadiz. You're right. Jawa solo chumwuki. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark. A facial scar to remember the past. No Java, no Baga. Uh, <laughs> the scar? Remember what? How Looper Lupin somehow left you alive after his raid on the old village. Excuse me, who? He must have had a purpose with that. The question is, what? To why? There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Looper Lupin did to your village, your Moomer and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. 
Weta Gono. Setuata Bobkila. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present to find your way back. But he's grateful you have. Hmm. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Muma's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. What's at stake? I like that. Muma and Popsy. The impending threat of the World Eaters bringing down the Tree of Life is ever so close. He also worries about the Jagni tribe that's actively working for a doomsday and purging of the world. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. Tree? Of course I remember the tree. How can I forget the tree? It's the tree of life! Plus I have this little cutscene to remember it by. Maybe. Or not. By default, uh, dialogues are set to advance from one NBC line to the next if you want to manual. Yeah, I, I changed that to manual. Way back in the long ago... Is this us, like, younger with... Before we lost our eye? Or we can punch. Kick punch, it's all in the mind. You're tiny, I am. I'm, little, I'm very whittle. It's me as a Padawan. <laughs> Best before? That's his name? Asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are here. Uh, I hope I told her. You're such a good child, so you probably did. Even the young forget. <laughs> He understands why you came all the way out here to see them, the potato people. Of course I would come in here to see the potato people. The potato people, or Nono, are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little tree here fueling its source of life. Nono, potato people is better. <laughs> you might be right. Like potatoes, they're packed with energy, an excellent source of key. Ooh, eat the potato people. The Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of hiding. Go to the Nano in the glitter grass and ruffle it. I can do that. Apparently I can't. Wanted to jump over the wall. That's a lot of flipping. Uh, okay. Potato's got a potato. Can we swim? We can swim. Oh, help! 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 <laughs> He's not the best. I die. How can you die in the flashback? How do you die in a flashback? <laughs> hey! Look, we're back. <laughs> There's no dying in the flashback. By, <laughs> by evidence, the fact that it's a flashback, we know that I didn't die there. <laughs> Are you dancing? Because I fixed, kind of fixed the hotel. Oh, nice. So, like, we're good, but I still have to email billing. Okay, good. 
It was just a bad dream, yeah. Try that again. This time, Ixnay on the dying. Power on. All right, all right, all right. Okay, I gotta ruffle it. Found one. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. That's how this guy sounds. And I just saved a. I just. I just rustled the grass and got a potato, people. The Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. What Pensai? The small tree you saw up there where you met will eventually grow into a tree of life and start giving back to nature. Okay. It'll be the heart of the land. <laughs> It's Elvis with a crossbow. He's got a net. You need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from the nono as they become one with the tree. Okay. <laughs> Smash potato on the tree. That's what I'm getting. You'll need a net to catch the nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of Ki, the primal energy. You have to be careful. Uh -huh. And that's how lacrosse was invented. Okay. Hello. Hey, come here. I'm gentle. Uh -huh. You handle that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. Hey, I like the way you handle your net. <laughs> He's grateful for all the help he can get. There's lots of Nono out there that need to be guided to the roots of the Pensai tree. How many does it need? <laughs> Oh, it'll need a continuous flux of key over the 20, 12 months to come. So, countless, he'd say. Oh, that's all. Okay. One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. I wonder if they could do, like, the gibberish, like, at the same time as he's talking, so that he doesn't have to, like, say the whole line of gibberish and then come in with what the translation is, you know? But today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. Okay, merge the no-no with the tree. This guy's gigantic. Oh, no, 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 get out of the water. Water is deadly. Be gentle with the no-no. Okay. I think this is the way to be gentle. If you turn down the gibberish option, would it lessen it maybe? If I turn it down and it still pauses. <laughs> I don't mind, the gibberish is kind of funny. I just wish it didn't like take up extra time, you know? Impressive potato. Now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to doubt. From this day on, he'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal, not only for our village's sake, but for all of us, everyone. <laughs> One day, the land won't be as peaceful. Not even your Moomer will be able to protect us. 
You can already see the effects from how reckless those before us acted, and unless something changes, we're doomed. The land won't survive the side effects of the old world's industrial advances. I know Tall Fonus, he is like the Fonz as a sloth. <laughs> I don't know, he's some sort of rodent type guy. He's got like a rat tail. <laughs> He says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Mooma comes looking for you. You did good here today. She only cares about Wung Fu. That's not true. She's the reason there's still unity, and the only one strong enough to keep the six Wung Fu disciples disciplined. The Slans, I like that. Slanzy. It's Slanzy. He lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the Tree of Life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. Thursday is getting loaded up with gaming events. Horizon, Dying Light 2, now... Just see something for Sonic? What, what are you talking about? Is there some, like, uh, stream or something? If they're going to be showing off games that I'm already going to be playing, though. <laughs> I won't watch. The tree started to die when the end of days begun. And it wasn't long after that that the World Eaters arrived. So his name was best before, and now it's out of date. Yes. Yes. The end of days, world eaters. The genetic evolution that occurred after the apocalypse, the Toxinol Corporation inflicted on the land, set the world eaters' DNA into overdrive. Okay. Oh my god, look at this map. His friend Gizmo is working on a Mekton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. I love getting this British guy to say all this Wiz stuff. Wiz is still repairing his Octopod to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the Northwest Route. Noko has tamed the Majut and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the <laughs> East Route. I like this guy just reading all this. This is great. <laughs> Finally, Goop is almost done with the Goo Glide, a machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. <laughs> the Porky Puff? Out what? Date says his friends are gearing up to stop the World Eaters. There's one at the end of each route. Okay. Wow. Miami. The road ahead yes. won't be easy. Yes. Ten months of that deserves some love and so. Uh, his friends aren't strong Porky Puff girls. This on their own. Thank you, Smash Block, for the ten months. How you doing? Thank you very much. That was funny as hell. He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree isn't saved. <laughs> so we can ask him how to defeat the world eaters, but no, I think I think we need to ask about Porky Puff. And Azaria, of course, comes into the room right as I say that. I'd like to ask you about Porky Puff. <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's like it's David Attenborough narrating. <laughs> this guy that sounds like David Attenborough, right? He's narrating. He's saying all these words like Porky Puff, and it's just really funny. Goo Glide, right? What are you doing? You need to scrape all the goo from the Goo Glide. Papa Mofubak, the Watakuzata Ghetto. He claims names have power, so he gave them these names to weaken them. For him, the Porky Puff is particularly personal. It was that carnivorous beast that took his leg. Oh, okay. The Porky Puff took his leg. Okay, got it. <laughs> Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the World Eaters. That's true, Talvantos. There, lacrosse. Rodnet. It's an abnormal rarity.
All right, all that to get a net? Look at the size of those gourds. Unstoppable pig! Didn't work. All right. You want me to roll you somewhere? No? All right, get out of the bunker. We're leaving. See ya. Getting the hang of it. Quickest way out is through the roof where they came in, and the rope looks strong enough to climb. What about the non-quickest way? This game is abnormal in a good way. It is abnormal. You're right. It is quirky and weird. Oh, ow. Time to see what's above. Mm-hmm. We're trying. Yeah, it's Abby normal. Okay. Oh, look how pretty it is up here. Oh, nice. Know that the tree of life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help. It can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. Yeah. Bio Mutant, we got to the title screen, gang. How was the DLC stream? It was great. I'm having a lot of fun with it. We're at the point where we need to choose sides between necromancers and vampires. Yeah, highly recommend. We're gonna be doing a couple more hours of it sponsored tomorrow in the morning. Yeah, that's the Dungeon of Neho book. Sprint. Oh, okay. So you can sprint. Oh, okay. Look at him go. Little fizz gig action there. He looks like a fizz gig. Yeah, we need to choose between people who make undead and people who a are undead. A signpost maps it out for the cartographically challenged. Obviously, necromancers. I think I'm, you have to tune in tomorrow to see what I'm picking, but I think I'm going to go with vampires. Spoiler. Yeah, Tolfonos, they, uh, the devs tweeted about that inconsistency today, didn't they? I thought that was funny that they pointed that out. Let's see. Did he just pee on the signpost to mark it? Sorry, I just walked in again. Stop walking in at weird moments. I think he just peed on it. Signposts. Signposts are found near locations of interest all around the world. You unlock a signpost when interacting with it. <laughs> he did a wee! <laughs> you can fast travel to a signpost you've unlocked by selecting it on the map. To open the map at any time, press... Okay. Guys, we're almost done with this game, I think. Cluppy Dunes! Mushy Moshmire! Nupstonies? Yerp fields? Surfapelago? Surfapelago, probably, right? Fnacky leaves! Great. Let's see. Oh, no, I already, already, already wanted. I already did that. <clears throat> Huge map. It's a big pipe. Can we go in this? How do I get to that? Wait. Oh, it's up there. I want to go in there. It's like a big water slide. You can't wait to hear the narrator say Fnacky leaves. I know, right? Fnacky leaves. You're liking it, Sparkly? I'm glad. I'm not! What the? Cerberus? That must be the world eater that chewed off out of date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. The three, world eaters three goals have in a made hockey game? marks on our world over time. Where can I get a hat trick? That's not the first nor the last village it'll leave in its wake. All right, behind the waterfall. This is it right here. This is the only thing the reviewers 
should have looked at. Is there treasure behind the waterfall? Or at least a secret. Of course there is! Because the devs aren't psychopaths! They have loot. They gave us loot. Okay. That's it. Absolutely playable game. Playable game. If you could pet the dog or cat and find loot in a waterfall, it's playable. Yeah. Look, a survivor. Glad to see someone made it out of Oh, life. he's cute. Or she's cute. What did I do character-wise? I don't know. Just kind of all over the place. <laughs> kind of in the middle. I'm the, uh... The dual wielding thiefy type class. He's heard the stories about the terror inflicted Milamar. by the world eaters to other enclaves, but never expected one to come all the way here. Aww, Milamog. Your inner balance is two halves that completes a wholeness that flows through all things. At times, you'll be able to manifest your inner balance through deeds and dialogue choices. Few are those who always act in the same manner, and our wholeness is the sum of the choices we make and the actions we take. The balance of your actions creates your aura score, which affects the dialogue with other characters. So we started off being dark. I don't know if I could be mean in this game. I'm not sure. He might do. He wonders there so won't cute be and... much left to save if this continues, even if the Tree of Life survives the attack. Fairy tale. He might do. He doesn't know what your connection is to this place, but something tells him you've stayed true to your heart. Yes, I have. Of course I have. Where are we? Psy points. Interacting with the captives and Psy shrines will award you a Psy points that you can use to unlock psionic powers. Powers can only be unlocked once you have reached the required dark or light inner balance. Ooh. So you will have different Psy powers if you're dark versus light? Oh. Yeah. Kyron Cake says, I like how Steam is showing Bog Otter streaming Witchet and on Twitch it's Biomutant. Yes. We do sponsor streams for game devs and they uh, loop our past broadcasts on Steam to show what the gameplay is like. But I could be playing something different when I'm live. But welcome. Glad you found us. Um. Okay. So... Let's see what happens. Anyway, he needs help and says it's by your actions you'll be judged, not by your intentions. I'll help him. He's grateful for that. You still seem to have a spark of light in you. A little spark. <laughs> She's just been waiting for me to do something good. <laughs> uh, I like the light. Too much already? That's right. Smack that spark out before it starts. <laughs> you don't have to be so harsh. It's such a little spark. I'll take it out now while it's small. How funny. Hmm. There's always another spark. And he smacks her again. There we go. Side point unlocked. You've gained a side point. Use it to unlock powers in the mutations menu. Some powers are locked by the aura score, meaning that your side point. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's go check it. Check it out. See what we can pick. You were today years old when you found out Steam Live lies to you. Yeah. He's out of date again. He must have missed something important. Okay. Out of date says you will make a better stand against the world eaters with the support of a tribe, and there are two nearby. The Myriad tribe is likely to be a good match as they act on the understanding of the greater good and have a code of honor. 
Regardless of who you choose, it won't be easy, as the conflict between the tribes is worse than ever, teetering on the brink of war. Okay, so this is the first one they want me to go after? The Myriad's conviction to stop the World Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. Okay. We're gonna have a lot of choices to make. It seems hard to make... The Jagni tribe Dark only choices, ever had though. one conviction, to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. Ah. They believe a cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the tree of life. What? But siding with Jagni isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. Hmm, interesting. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna embrace the dark. Let's try it. I always play good. Someone needs to break the stalemate and shift the balance Except of power to either Jagni's or Myriad's side. Oh slash thirty five utterly amazing months. Hey, what's up, Playtown? How you doing? What's going on, my friend? Thanks for the thirty five months. I hope you're doing great. Hi, Jitterbug. What's going on? How you doing? Yeah, last call on that raffle. Roosevelt's gonna pick a winner. Game vault game. All right, so we have to choose the side with the Jagni or the Myriad. He believes the tribe Sifus, Myriad especially, will listen to you and expects you to pay at least one of them a visit and play your part. Okay. All right, we're gonna have two factions here. You had a day off and you had lunch with mom, so great so far. Oh, awesome. Thanks for spending more time with us. All right, have the tribes engaged the world eaters or why Myriad? Myriad is convinced that defeating the world eaters is the only way the world can be saved, but they've been forced to focus on their rivalry with the Jagni tribe. Okay. Out of date will be waiting for you beneath the tree of life if you lose track of what you need to do. <laughs> How come I feel like I'm going to need out of date a lot? <laughs> Where am I? What am I doing again? Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. Okay. Quest tracking. Your current and started quests are shown above in the journal. You can change which quest you track by opening the journal tab and selecting another quest. Okay, so we go to journal. In the journal, you can find information on your quest as well as previous tutorials and dialogues. All right, side quests, completed quests, and main quests. We've got three. Conquer the rival tribes, defeat all four world eaters, Talk to the Jagni or Myriad Sifu. Hey. How do I tell which one I'm selecting? The, the color difference is so slight. Okay, this one, right? No, we want another world. That one. Okay. Naomi, thanks for following. And we have side points Another to spend too. In the road. It's either the tunnel or the motor bridge. What will it be? The motor bridge. I'm going for Jagni. You think you know Bog, then he goes dark? Hey, we haven't done like a any kind of uh dark playthrough. And I'm assuming most people would go good, so maybe I'll show him something different. I don't know. Rigidity, congrats on winning the game ball game. Send me a message tonight, and I will send you your code. All right, let's check out our side points. Perks, mutations, side powers. All right, we got two points. Blaze. All right, what else? We could also... No, okay. Uh, Blaze. 
Press down the input you have bound. Blaze will launch you forward and leave a trail of fire behind you. It's too dark for light. Is that what I am? Too dark for light? How did I get so much light? Uh, blink to use the ability. Bro. Okay, press it down. It will create... Uh, it'll teleport you in the direction, creating a shock wave where you reappear. I like that. Blink. Okay. Uh, blink. B. Nice. But that uses, like, power, right? Same game. New slot. Okay. And we can just explore now, huh? Alright. Let's go. Let's do it. Wow, I hope I wonder how much you can just like go neither way and do what the hell you want, you know? And find what the hell is that? Is some like some little panda guy die? What the hell? We're gonna have such a hard time playing evil or dark. Oh look at this, they have a treasure in here. this stuff I can't break it okay <clears throat> can't smash the pots no not in there at least this character looks like a great dark side character yeah he looks a little rough and tough It's a bridge. Just get over it. <laughs> what? <laughs> now he's making jokes. Narrator's got jokes. Holy cow. What's going on here? I don't know who to side with. That's it. They all die. You all die. Wow, it takes forever to reload. That's not where I was aiming. Sorry. I'm sorry. I wonder if that can miss or not. <clears throat> the deep cut. Level three. See, it pays to kill all the you people. You should be able to use that. Killed both sides. <laughs> yeah. That was funny joke because it was unexpected compared to the last game where it was joke, 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 joke. I find them both funny. <laughs> They're both funny to me. <laughs> yeah, come join one of the factions. Bog Hunter becomes every faction's enemy. That's right. <laughs> I was trying to just—I was trying to they just attack one of them. This area, muddied up what used to be muck, 
as if it wasn't bad enough before the tri war began. Yeah, I was trying to side with just one of them, and uh, the other one started attacking me, so. I could not let that stand. Okay. That place wasted my time. Oh, can I go in the watchtower? Can I climb the ladder? It's not slippery. Good. Health patch. Okay. So what have I been getting inventory-wise? We haven't looked in here in a while. Um... Consum We've been getting a lot of consumables, right? Health patches, tongue ticklies, energy packs, dandy candies, and sweet meats. We got a lot of those. We got the net and the claw bar. And I don't think we've gotten any ge gear besides what we have, right? We haven't found anything else. Okay. Game looks beautiful. What am I playing on? I'm playing on PC. Yeah. If you type hashtag game, you can uh, get it on Humble. And uh, support the stream, too. And it'll pop up. I think it's also out on PS4. Um, it will work. That's the Jagni tribe's fort. Their friendship can be a blessing or a curse. It's up to you. You're either a part of their solution to the tribe war or part of the problem. Okay. Um, is it Xbox One as well? Yeah, it'll also work on PS5, but it was built for PS4. It won't be, it won't be like native 4K, I don't think. Yeah. It's $10 off on Epic. Yeah, the Epic Epic has a, a sale going on as well where you can get that coupon. Anything that's fifteen dollars or above. So if you if you snag it over there, Crater Tag Bog Otter would help me out. All one word. All right, let's go uh, talk to the Jagme. First, we got to go pee on this flag. That is Let's so bizarre. <laughs> All right, so we got another waypoint. So you can t fast travel to them, huh? That's awesome. Okay. Yep, it's ours now. That's clever. I'm surprised other games haven't done that yet. <laughs> you know? Oh, look how close you can zoom in. Wow. Wow. Now, was this the tower? It's a different tower? It's a different one, right? All right. Another health pad. Better than nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I was just about to complain about the loot, and he's like, better than nothing. <laughs> True. You were checking out the games from the vault on Steam, and with the game unrailed, it shows your September uh, sub store screen. Oh yeah, so my I on the unrailed Steam page as well. I wonder how many I can have simultaneously going because I think the folks of the Dungeon of Neville book are going to do that as well. How funny! Did we get any response, babe? No, I checked it. Uh, I'll check it again. Okay. They might, if there's no problem, they may not be contact me at all, so. Just wanted to make sure. The only thing you're not a fan of in this game is the cartoonish UI. You think post-apocalyptic UI would have fit better, but that's just oh, personal preference. There was a response. That was on the wrong email. Okay, anything I need to see? No. Okay, cool. 
Um, yeah, it told fun. It, it would be interesting to have a game that, I mean, this is very expensive to redo, like, the look of a UI, but it would be nice to have different, like, UI skins and stuff like that. I think, does Doom Eternal let you do that? I think you can change the look of your whole, like, HUD. <coughs> That's pretty cool when they do that. Um, I will say that I, I'm enjoying this so far. This is a very interesting game. But I, I'm i not sure if the combat is going to be as engaging as I want it to be. It lacks um, so far. I'm going the wrong way, of course. Because I'm an idiot. Um, it lacks a, um, I don't know, a little bit of that visceral feeling. It feels like I'm not hitting the enemies. I see the damage going up and I, I see that I actually am doing something, but from the animation or the sound design, I don't feel like I'm doing it. That makes sense. But we'll see if it changes as we unlock new abilities and stuff. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. <laughs> Wait, they look pretty creepy. The Sifu will want to see me. Points out that the Sifu has a tight schedule, but is willing to let you in and find out if he has an open slot. Okay. Oh boy. I'm here to run the joint. Oh, look at this guy. The Jagni tribe wants to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. They want to vanquish the tribes as the only way they can guarantee peace is through supremacy. The Sifu is determined to let the World Eaters destroy the Tree of Life as it's part of their strategy to cleanse the world and start anew. He welcomes you to the Jagni Fort and introduces himself as the tribe Gonzo? Sifu. Gonzo? <laughs> what? <laughs> The news of a cold-blooded ronin crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 preceded you. That's me. The Great Wall? The wall that separates them from the other side, the wasteland you came from. He guesses the time spent there just left a blank space in your memory, as empty and barren as the wasteland itself. So the place I was in erased my memory? You were playing Mark of the Ninja for the umpteenth time? Mark of the Ninja is great. I've never beaten it, but it's really good. Um, How interesting that... Should we side with these guys? We're literally like not... We're, we're, we're trying to like bring the giant world breakers to heal. Instead of killing them. He understands that sometimes we need to lose ourselves to find ourselves. But he's glad you chose to come here. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense you're kind-hearted. Sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. Oh. He was one of the original Wang Fu disciples. Oh, he was one of the disciples. Wow, okay. My Muma? Your Muma invented Wang Fu. Originally, it was based on unarmed combat and the six weapons, the boomerang, the shuriken, the bow, the staff, the nanchuk, and the hook and chain. 
The Sifu says it's time to set the past aside, at least for now. Unrest is sweeping the land and there are rivals in all directions. Jagni doesn't want a new unity between the tribes. Their goal is to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. Says there is some darkness in the best of us, even you, and suggests you embrace that side of you and help them vanquish the tribes and let the world eaters destroy the tree of life. Shall we destroy the tree of life? <laughs> wow. <laughs> hard choice. I know. Hard choices already. <laughs> I wonder if they let you. Um... Yeah, this is Gondo. Gonzo, where's his chickens? Yeah. I wonder if it lets you say no. Go talk to the other people so you can see what they're like. You think it'll let you come back? They want to vanquish the tribes and let the world leaders destroy the tree of life. Warning. Sets the game's end goal to destroy the tree of life. Choose... Destiny for defeated rival Sifus is limited to subdue. Wait. Choosing destiny for defeated rival Sifus is limited to subdue or vanquish. Okay. Let me see if he says something like, if you change your mind. He had a feeling you'd say that. You're not sinister enough to be a Jagni. That big heart of yours makes you weak. He'll give you a chance to change your mind before you leave and asks you to reconsider. Otherwise, you'll be seen as a rival. Oh, so you, they, so you can't go and ch check out the other ones first. Must be dark. Let's do it. I never do this. Let's he do recognizes it. you sometimes need to challenge your mindset to make up your mind. You're a Jagni ally now. Da -da -da. The Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor, and with you by their side, he's confident you can vanquish the other tribes. Yes. The one he wants to deal with first is the Myriad tribe. Vanquish? He said Jagni's destiny is to do what others are too afraid to do. To vanquish past and future disillusions of unity and take control of our destiny. Uniting the tribes and saving the Tree of Life won't change anything. All right. Their kin must put an end to the war before war puts an end to them. It'll cost bruises and broken bone, but they refuse to be the victim here. We need to end this quickly. They have no intention of letting this drag out, or they'll run the risk of teaching the enemy their art of war. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. This is so interesting. It's like two different campaigns. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. Even if you see the world differently, you must hit them as soon and as hard as you can. The outcome of this war is up to you. Tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. 
claim the rival outposts, and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. Okay, what's our tribe weapon? Once you've conquered the rival's outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu for control of their territory, tribe weapon, and kin. All right, there you go. Smart one. Uh, you like how the narrator acts as interpreter? Yeah, it's kind of interesting how they're doing this, this story. Your Muma taught each disciple a weapon. She never intended it for hunting, nor war, but lately, the art of defense has been shadowed by relentless attack. Seeing you brings back his memories of the old village. Jackney doesn't want a new unity between the tribes. Their goal is to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. He remembers your kind and unselfish soul, and can sense you still have it in you, the will to do good. I thought you wanted me to kill everybody. He's confusing anyway, me now. You'll pass your old village on your way to the first rival outpost, but we've got no time to be sentimental. War doesn't wait. He can't blame you for not remembering, but he can sense the stillness of something lost. All right. Want to buy some? You have orders to follow. I'm out. Says you. Okay. Can you give me like some some gold or some weapon or something just to start me off? Be great of you. Wow, they're scary masks. I have a level up to take care of, too. Ow. Hey, look, it's a floating piece. Of oh, no, it's in the rope. Now I see. All right, let's level up. Character. All right, last time we did agility. Um, yeah, let's do strength. Watch you, Flex. Nice. And we have one upgrade point. We got all the maneuvers. Basic range, basic melee, right? Two-faced cobra grip, dual wield guns. All right, what else we have here? We need two points for the unknowable force. Right trigger, right trigger, why? What else? One-handed smash? Finish a one-handed melee chain with three strong slashes. But I guess you can just save for now, right? Let's save before we, we do this so we know what's going on a bit. All right. You want me to go to the Myriad first, right? Hey! It's I on the wall up in way Says you were a quiet kid and is happy to see you working toward progress. Why does everybody know who I am? Hopes to see you again soon. Look like otters. What's up? You're Says Lotus should quit trying to float it out and just drown the world. 
Says you should take it easy. <laughs> take it easy. Oh, that nice book. With our help, the tree could live a lot longer. But I'm not trying to save the tree. Has plenty to do, so no worries. Look at these things. Squawks at you for being a Jagni blood relative who wastes time rebuilding nests that need burning. Says you're welcome back. Okay. We are one job. I don't know, Lightning Awesome. Crows about helping you take apart all the nests and picking the world clean for the Jagni tribe. Can't understand why you don't just give up on helping things. Alright. I'm here. Resting places. You have found a resting place. Here you can restore your health and key energy or just pass time. Do you have loots? You do. 